So a very, very happy Christmas to all the viewers. I apologise if I sound a bit rough this morning, um, but I didn't sleep too well last night. And it is, of course, Christmas Day 2016. It's just about 11 o'clock in the morning and we are setting off in the next few moments for our destination today, which is the Swan Inn in Horning, where we're going to be having our Christmas Day lunch. So it's been a real blowy evening. Uh, the wind has really got up in the night. Uh, it's died down a bit now, it will be pushing us off the bank, as you can see, and um, it does still get up a bit here as well, but um, it's been a very nice uh, evening here, and uh, much movies and drinking and so on happened last night. So as I say, we'll get the old engine running and be underway, but... Uh, I'll show you how I look in a moment, but uh, I'll let that be a surprise for the time being. It's a rather different look for the blog. So we're underway now, as you can see, and yes, it's a bit of a different look. The smart shirt and fleece, uh, but don't worry, I won't be going into the uh, the uh, Swan at Horny looking like this. Um, and it's not just me that's sort of looking a bit half-baked this morning. She the two is, well... Oh, I haven't done my hair. <laughs> hasn't done her hair yet properly. No. And apparently this isn't what she's going to be wearing later. No. So, um... I wonder is what that's going to be. We've got a couple of hours to see the transformation. I know. But that wind is uh, really sort of flinging the boat around a bit. You can't take your eye too much off the wheel because it will you know, really come across the marshes and push you over to the starboard bank. Also, we're uh, we're fighting a, a, a flood, an ebbing, it's morning, it's Christmas morning, sorry. An ebbing tide that's going out towards Yarmouth. So um, we are having to work that a little bit harder to maintain the speed limit. Conversely, when we arrived just at April, uh, we had the uh, benefit of an ebbing tide taking us along, so we didn't have to use as many revs. This is the scene here, familiar to many holiday makers and owners on the Norfolk Broads. This is the River Bewer and we will, in due course, come up to the mouth of the River Thurn and then we'll be passing there. And then the next noticeable feature will be St Bennett's Abbey and the mouth of the River Anne, passing that. And we'll be taking the viewer all the way into Horning. And with any luck, we'll be able to even more outside the Swan. Or, get this, at the public stayed in Horning. Well, I'm bloody hoping so, because if we can't, then uh, we might be a little bit screwed. <laughs> As in, we could moor somewhere else, but then we'd have to walk and probably be late. This is the trials and tribulations of arriving somewhere by boat. But as ever, more as it happens. So as you can see, we're not alone. There is another boat in front of us, Hampton 25. Indeed, the syndicate boat, Evening Shadow, passed us uh, going downstream on the River Bure earlier. Um, but also, what hasn't gone away is this wind. In fact, it's uh, really getting rather worse as we've been uh, coming along here and the little shelter that there has been from some of the trees and stuff has disappeared and now we're into the real open marshes. But everything's going well on the good ship Broad Ambition. It won't be too long before we're at the uh, mouth of the River Thurn. We'll be obviously just taking the view around to the left. The last time you saw Sheila putting makeup on on a boat, um, I asked her a question, and she said it's bronzer. Why? Look, I mean, I, I'm not a girl. Yes. But isn't this here? Oh, look at that. It's not chocolate. It's actually a bronzer. It's a bronzer. But does it sm smell of chocolate? It does. You see, it smells of chocolate. It bronzes your face. Yes. Whatever next. 
now I'm being nice. Now she's being nice. It's Christmas Day, why not? As you can see we're just coming into Horning, we just passed the uh, Ferry Inn which at uh, the time of recording was closed, not just because it's Christmas Day but there's ongoing issues there with the uh, establishment, various opinions and debating going on on various forums as to why. I won't comment on that, just to say that um, with the fact that Sid sold up at the uh, Lion at Fern earlier this year and we certainly don't want to lose another pub so I hope everything gets sorted out and the ferry in comes back it's not like it's all you know shuttered or stuff but just um, not open when it was supposed to be open over the Christmas period but ahead of us is our destination the Swan Inn and uh, hopefully as I say we'll be able to more outside we'll be turning round and we're coming in more on our port side so uh, we'll go past and we'll see what the mooring situation is and uh, we'll figure something out so the mooring situation at Horning is not too good the public stage is full but uh, there are some spaces outside the actual Swan Inn which is normally reserved for day boats but I'm hoping as we are uh, got a table book they won't mind us mooring there um, just while, while we're going to be in there because otherwise it's going to be a bit tricky so we made it, we're outside the uh, Swan Inn um, it does say that uh, day boats only 11am to 4pm, cruisers welcome after 4 well I'm afraid we're going to be here because we uh, need to go in and spend money with you and we have a table booked and otherwise we can't moor anywhere so um, as there's no other day boats hopefully that'll be okay um, that wind's really coming down here though and uh, as we came into moor here so you see it's pushing us onto the bank uh, you can't see it but there's a, um, a sort of retracting ladder um, that sticks out um, so you can easily hit your uh, hull across the metal of the ladder and do some quite horrible damage so uh, fortunately we didn't, we missed it uh, so here we are, this is where we're going to be having our lunch in about an hour's time so um, looking forward to that and then after we've been here um, I'm really not sure where we're going to be headed but somewhere 
Um, so, as ever, thanks for coming along with the ride. So as you can see, I don't scrub up too badly. A bit better than the grey fleece. So um, have a very happy Christmas, whatever you're doing, wherever you may be. And when you're watching this, of course, it will be past. But uh, thanks for joining us on our little travels uh, through the festive period. And um, we'll see where we end up later, so it's not the end just yet. Um, unless something changes and we end up here and pay a tenner tomorrow up overnight, but we'll see. So as ever, even on Christmas Day, more as it happens. So we're back on board the boat and it is 25 minutes past three and it was a really lovely atmosphere in the Swan and the food was really good. I was expecting um, something similar to what I had in another vintage inn in London uh, for my works Christmas party and it was far better, far nicer. Um, so we all had um, a lovely meal, a bit too much to be honest, feel a bit ooh. Um, but we can't stay overnight really here. Um, it is now sunny setting, it's about half three as I said. So we're heading to South House, probably more on the spit, um, rather than, you know, trying to stern more. Um, but so brings uh, an afternoon and the sun setting on the Christmas day of 2016. And this is the scene here outside the Swan in Horning. So those fortunate enough on the very tiny public stayed here in Horning with the electric cook-up of course and then over there the sun is setting and that wind is still ever present it's going to be interesting departing from here because we do have a small Elysian 27 to our stern so uh, Sheila will be on the bow with the spring line and we will bring the bow in and use the power of the engine to kick our stern out, clear of the Elysian behind us and then we will reverse out into the centre of the river. That's the plan anyway. But no, very enjoyable afternoon here. Very busy inside but they had extra staff and Certainly when I've been to the Swan before, the food's always been very good. But um, the weight between courses and so on has not been the best. But today, um, you know, it was really a well-oiled machine. So as you can see, we're now underway again. Uh, that went very well. Good teamwork between myself and Shiva. So um, she held the, uh, the bow of the boat with the, uh, the bow rope. And when I gave her the signal, she let uh, it go through the ring. And then we just backed away, and as we reversed away, we went from full port lock to full starboard lock, and that brought our stern into the wind and into the centre of the river. And then from there on, we turned, and now we're underway towards our house. But just of note for any boaters who do more outside the Swan, there are two recess ladder I think they kind of fold over from the key heading into the water but their sort of galvanized steel edges stick out um, so if you clout one of those or brush alongside it um, you do an awful lot of damage but I hope you can see the lovely sky that we've got this evening well this afternoon because we've had the uh, the winter solstice so slowly ever so slowly the days will begin to get longer it's due to be uh, quite a windy evening tonight but uh, quite mild with lows of about 12 to 13 degrees so um, tomorrow night however is going to be very different far more still in the evening apparently but with temperatures uh, possibly reaching zero um, so and then because the next day things change again the wind returns and the temperatures increase so I think tomorrow night we may go to Ramworth we may go to Worsted um, we'll go somewhere where we can have a shore power hookup and um, then we'll be able to enjoy 
a nice cosy experience on board using the fan heater. But what an absolutely magical time of the year on a wonderful place. There's lots of people fortunate enough to live very close and you know after their lunch on Christmas Day say oh let's take the boat out for a while but to be up here and know that how it is in the season how you know many hundreds of people come on holiday and stressful moorings are and so on and so forth to see it in its much more wild and natural state in a far quieter time of the year really is quite a special time so I'm glad that I've been here I'm glad that I've brought you along virtually with the blog and remember during 2017 there be doubtless other adventures and blogs. Broad Ambition's going to be taken out of the water in uh, February and we're going to be doing a lot of maintenance work on her. I may well try and film some of that but it will be a lot of hard grafting for many hours each day so um, it's, not a, it's not a time for pleasure and enjoyment it's a time for sore knees and rub knuckles <laughs> But it happens every two years unless something else happens that we deem um, needs sort of attention right away. And it's a full hull survey and underwater gear, everything gets checked over, anything that needs revarnishing or anti-fouling, etc. It's all sorted out. So from here on the very peaceful river viewer, heading upstream towards Roxham. Thank you for joining us today. I'll update you when we get to Sow House, but just coming up to the end of today's vlog. So apologies for the uh, noise of the wind on the microphones and the low light levels, but we're here at Sow House and uh, we're on the, the spit, as you can probably tell. Um, the main stern on moorings at Sow House are closed off at the moment because they're replacing all of the key heading along there. So I'll just show you uh, where we where we so sorry about the noise of the wind on the microphones but we're here we're at Sow House Spit the main moorings the usual sort of stern on moorings at Sow House are closed while they renovate the key headings along that stretch uh, there is another boat over there moored where the water point is if you where the signs are and so on and so forth on the the left hand moorings the stern on moorings if you like but uh, we're on the spit it is just about to get dark the wind still um, there it's not as bad as it is uh, was earlier on so it made mooring here that little bit easier but this is a very pleasant uh, mooring at the best of times but you can just hear some pheasants in the background there some geese some ducks they're all sort of getting ready to bed down for the night as for broad ambition as you can see looking splendid with her twinkly LED lights and uh, we also have an RGB LED floodlight that lights up our house flag here on the mast and these uh, Sheila's just putting up the curtains to keep things nice and cosy tonight but the lights go all the way along the boat as you can see I just come around here time by the way is 20 minutes past four in the afternoon this camera I use is very very good in low light and it actually makes it look more light than it really is and the only failing of this camera is because it's so small and lightweight I can't have an external microphone in it and uh, as a result of that it does pick up the wind noise a lot but I just hope you can hear me enough and put up with it just for now it comes and goes this wind but it really does look very very nice the boat here just in the fading last light so that's our Christmas evening we'll be spending it here it was a lovely meal at the Swan thanks very much for joining us I'd say more but the wind is uh, annoying me so I'll leave it there and we'll see where we end up tomorrow thanks for watching
with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? Heard I in the morning. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Heard I in the morning. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Heard I in the morning. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Heard I in the morning.